party people hello it's randy for thunder horse descendant i am here and i'm ready to do the next project for our um december jesse james beads beading doings so i have something fun planned today i don't know if you guys have seen on my website i do these um pendant ready strands and pendant ready pendants and so I thought we would make some of these today with um, some of the listings some of the things that I've listed um, in the description box down there so I just wanted to just remind you guys about the description box down there you're gonna find the chapters okay and many of you have messaged me saying that you like the chapters the chapters are good so I just wanted to remind you or if you're new um, to this channel that in the description down here there is um, I put time stamps in the description so that you can uh, fast forward or come back to a certain specific area of the video um, say if you were making along or if you were like, I already know how to do that. I'm just going to skip through that part. So it's helpful, um, to have those down there in the description. Also in the description is a materials list, um, of the items that we are going to be using today. I'm also going to put the dragonfly story down. Um, but the main focus of this video is Swiss chard. Okay. So this is Jesse James bead mix, mini mix, um, Swiss chard. And so we're going to take a look at that today. Um, and let's get on into the video. Okay, guys, so here is what we are going to be using today. So all of these items can be purchased on the Jesse James Beads website in the description. I have less, left um, a list for you and, um, I have left my link down there as I am now an affiliate. If you utilize this link to get to these items, um, I will get a little commission off your purchase, which I really appreciate. So if you guys head down to the description, at least click a link, head over there and just see what Jesse James has to offer. They always have wonderful sales and stuff going on. So without further ado, I'm going to get into telling you what we're working with today. Okay, so what we have here is um, we have the gold, uh, the gold chain textured big girl chain is what it's called. And if you noticed when I shared in my blog, I put little asterisks next to some of the items that we were going to be reusing. I did that to let you guys know um, that we were going to be doing multiple projects with those specific items. This was one of them. Um, also, the uh, fairy silk. So this is in orange cream soda. And so this is just to let you guys know, like, if you do plan to do these projects that I'm doing, then you would know we are going to be using this specific item numerous times. So in my opinion, then it is worth purchasing if you know you're going to have a couple of videos and you're like, oh, they're going to use this specific thing a couple of times. So yeah, you know, any hint. So we have that. We have some chain reaction. Now, um, I do have, Jesse James sent me I think it was the bundle. So I have like five. I just put these ones in here. I'm not for sure if these are the colors we're going to be using. But really, we're just looking for a gold that matches um, our Swiss chard. And then this guy is the flower chain. This one is called um, the gold flower beaded metal chain. And so we're going to be using that guy today. All right, guys, so before we get into this, I wanted to tell you that another item we're going to be using um, are these clips, these large lobster claw clips. This is what I use for my pendant ready strand um, pendants. Now, if you don't have any of these, um, I don't 
believe that Jesse James has these listed, but I have them listed on Thunder Horse Descendant, so you can swing over there and pick yourself up a package. Um, or if you don't have any of those, but you have some other large clip, I just wanted to let you know any large clip that you have available um, will be fine for this project, just as long as it can, um, you know, be large enough to get over whatever chain you're trying to put it on. All right, so let's get into this mix, shall we? This is Swiss chard, and we're just going to take a look at this. And you guys, I was so excited when I got this mix because it has little tiny dragonflies in it. And I love dragonflies. And I had to get pull the story out for you guys. I don't know if you have heard the story of the dragonfly. But um, a woman a long time ago told me um, this story that I then uh, found. And I've been sharing it in some of my listings when I make dragonflies. Because it is... Uh, associated with transformation, grief and loss. I thought it was a beautiful thing because, uh, you know, they say when the dragonfly comes around, that means that someone who has passed is looking over you, or, you know, looking out for you. So anyways, that's the story. And here are the dragonflies. And these are super cute. So then... So then we have all these beautiful Chinese crystals, just different crystals. These are amazing. I thought these were cute. I think they're clay. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're clay. I could be wrong, but they look like tie dye, which I was super impressed with. Um, some bronze got some bead caps can never have enough you know can never have enough uh these are very interesting i would actually i don't know if i'm going to use these today but i they would make great earrings in my opinion um and just a bunch of different little crystals i seen that you guys had said that um you had gotten this mix as well and so I'm super excited to see what you guys do with your mix and I invite you to come over to the Thunder Horse Descendant group and show us what you got what you've made with yours um just put a title on the top saying this is what I made with my um Swiss chard mix so anywho let's get this party started huh okay party people so first things first we are going to pick a link um, for, to start our tassel out with. So here's the deal. Let me just show you. Let me just show you one I got here. That's kind of similar. So here is, this one is actually for pendant, but the cool part about these is that, um, so you can use them as a pendant clip them on to any necklace, you know. Um, when you're not using them, say you have multiples, you've made multiples, you've got this one on, um, you're not using, you can take these and clip them to your purse, to um, basically anywhere you can clip things, to your rear view mirror, to your purse, to your bag, to uh, your makeup bag, anything, really. Um, I even have friends out in North Dakota who clip them onto their saddles, their bridles for their horses, um, you know, whatever. So what I'm going to do for this one, because I'm probably going to wear it as a pendant and a purse charm. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this medium link right here from the big girl chain. And if you just cringed when I cut that, don't feel bad. I cringe a little bit every time too, but you know, is what it is. So here is our textured link. Now, remember when last time I was telling you guys, I'm like, do you know how much stuff I can do with textured links? It's just it's like, I love it. I was so excited when I got this. So this is going to be the start 
of our project. Second part of our project, I've got a little piece of the fairy silk. Now you might have seen me when I was like, oh, we're going to make, when we were making that other necklace. And I said, I got to chop a little of this because I need it for my project. Well, here we are. So now I am going to throw in, in true Thunder Horse Descendant fashion, I'm going to throw in a little bit of my own. I have this little piece of denim. Now, if you don't have any denim or you have more fairy silk than this or you don't want to do this, please don't feel obligated. I'm just taking a little piece of this because I like, I'm a little extra. <laughs> I don't know if you know that. I'm a little extra. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this strip of leather, or strip of leather, strip of denim. I'm just going to rip it. And if you've got anything will work, really. It doesn't have to be denim. It doesn't have to be whatever. It could be whatever you got laying around your house. You got that. These happen to be some jeans that don't fit anymore. Just FYI. <laughs> whatever you got. You got some some quilting scraps. You got some whatever, whatever you got. Anything will work. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to take both. You know, like I said, I'm a little extra. So I'm going to take both of these. And the fairy silk. I'm going to make sure that fairy silk is on the top. And I'm going to put these just through my link. Just like so. Okay. So I just got them on there. I'm going to get out my wire and we're going to wire wrap it. I do have some out here. Had it in my hand, you guys. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay, so this is tw just 24 gauge gold wire. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take about, I'm gonna do a little bit of wrapping. So I am gonna take about a foot of this gold wire. If you wanna do more, that's fine. Okay, so I got about a foot of the gold wire. Cut, get that ready. So now here's the idea. We're gonna wire wrap on here, okay? But before we do that, I wanna get some of my charms ready because I'll show you why. So I got my little box of charms and I wanna put on here, before we start wrapping, I wanna, I wanna beat up a little bit like a little a little piece of beads that hang down and I'm just gonna do that on wire um, and I'm gonna hook it onto this which is why I'm not doing this first now you could do it where you just add it with a jump ring here but I prefer for it to be like wrapped up in the wire because I think it looks cool um, so that's just my personal preference so I'm gonna take another little smidge of this wire I'm gonna take about mm, four inches you probably don't need four inches. I always am gonna have more wire than I need to have, but I just prefer to have more than not enough. <laughs> All right, so you guys may have seen this trick a gazillion times. Uh, this is, uh, I actually learned this from Sarah Ellis. If you watch her, where you're making your own head pin. And so you just get the tippy tip of the wire, wrap it around, you go three times, pull it out straight, Take it off your wire, flip it around, bring the tail back up through the little loopy loop. And look, look at me. Somebody said, Randy, you need to get a, a what are these called? Nylon jaw prior. I said, okay. <laughs> so I did. Given it's not the most like spectacular one, but it works. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take up some of these cool beads. And these are going to be hanging down here off of my, they're going to be like so. Okay, so I'm going to just start putting them on. Um, I know for sure I'm going to put these guys and some of the tassels on, but we're not there yet. Um, so what I, I think I want to do is, 
once I want to do like this drop on the bottom so it looks like it's kind of coming to a point like that one I literally am just this is kind of a design on the fly situation I'm just grabbing up what I want <laughs> like in true Randy fashion this is generally how I do everything Ooh, let's put one of these great big guys on there he'll be super sparkly Okay, uh, and then I kind of put some littler ones up here towards the top. Oh, I better put one of these sparkly rondelles on there. Bring a little sparkle into it. Mm -hmm. So let's see if it's long enough. Okay. So that's how we're going to be looking. I think we, honestly, I think we could go a few more. <laughs> but I am bold. I was talking to somebody today and I said, oh, I really like that boldness. They were like, it's a little bold. I said, oh, I like bold. That's just me. Should I put one of the What's this one? It's like a little cube. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to do a wire wrap on top here. While you're wrapping, here we go. So I just leave enough for when I turn this. The wire or the this part of my plier is up against the bead there. Bring this over. Spin the player. Bring this out. I'm actually going to close this up. And I'm going to leave. I'm going to use up all this wire on here. I'm going to make it like messy. Like messy wrappy loop thing situation. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. But. Okay. Is it just me or is anybody else like. It's like, yeah, you could tuck that little piece of wire in, but I feel the need to cut it. It's just part of how I've always done stuff. I don't know. It's just me, maybe. Oh, I can get him all the way. All right, so now we have just this little guy. Okay, now, before we move into assembly here... I am also going to get my dragonfly ready and I'm going to use the enameled one. There are these two other little options. If you wanted to, you could put them all, you know, whatever, but I am going to put this guy and I'm going to get into my flower chain here. Okay. And I'm just going to, you don't need much of this. I don't think I'm just looking. And I'm going to put him, I might have to use wire to wrap because that looks kind of small. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I'm going to grab a little, up a little piece of wire here to wrap this guy. If you have little enough uh, jump rings, you could you could do that, but I don't. <laughs> I don't. Now let's see. Okay. So let's get my dragonfly on there. Mm -hmm. Just wire wrapping him on. No more than three wraps, that's enough. And, all right, if you have um, eye pins, you could use those as well. I just, um, I 
think that I because this is so small I just feel more comfortable putting him on like that so I'm gonna leave a little space there for him to hang fold that over put my flower chain on I'm going over the top of that other wrap. You're barely going to see it at all. And then get a little trim. So I just wire wrapped over the top of that last of the original one that I made. Can't tell that's in there. Wait, yeah. Oh, no. All right, so now he's on there. Now I left it on like this because I don't know how much, how far I want it to go. And I don't want to cut it and then, you know, so I'm going to just, again, we're just laying this out here. And we're going to have this and we're going to have this. Oh, see, yeah, I probably would have went way too long. I only need... I zoom you guys in a little bit. I only need maybe right here one flower and one crystal. Well, I'm glad I didn't cut it because I would have been like way down. <laughs> one flower, one crystal. Okay, and then I am going to cut the little link. This one has a link, and I can use this wire wrap. So I'm going to cut the link. Now, if you wanted to put a couple of these on, by all means, go for it. Let's see what we got going on. I think they are so cute. We're looking good. Looking good. All right. Zoom me back out here. Now that I'm looking at that, I really like that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself, I'm going to take a tassel. So here I am. I'm going to take this flower tassel because that'll go cute. Oh, no, I like these ones. I'm going to do this one. And since this already has a loop on it, I'm just going to utilize that. I'm just going to open it up. And I'm going to take this flower and I'm going to put it right in there. And I'm going to close that baby back up. If you wanted to use a jump ring here, you could. Mm -hmm. so now okay again where do we want that to hang longer shorter not the same length okay so for this one i think i'm gonna go one flower one bead one flower so right here at the second flower i am going to keep that loop on there so i'm actually going to cut not the loop but i'm going to cut this i know some of you are cringing just don't look just look away <laughs> just look away don't look at that all right so that's what we got so far now I'm going to get out a little bit of chain reaction. Is this, so I have a brown and I have a blue. I thought that blue would match, but you know what? It's not my favorite. So these um, are part of the five pack bundle. I'm going to look and see if we have another gold. So I got five gold and five silver. Um, I do have a blue one, which kind of matches this guy. But, but, 
do we necessarily want to match? This one's red. You know, I have a plan for this. I think I'm going to use this brown one. I'm sorry about all that noise. I'm sorry. Uh, if you're not familiar with Jesse James Chain Reaction, these are spectacular. Because I'm thinking maybe you don't want to put on the clip. Maybe you just want to, you know, add a little chain reaction. It'd have to be quite long. You might have to use two. If you had two, you could make that work out. All right. I'm going to take a little of this topazy one. I'm trying to find the set. There we go. Trying to find the split ring. Here it is. Okay. What do we got here? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. All right. I'm going to cut. I'm going to take two beads worth on this. Now, as you can see, the spacing is different. So depending on which one you have, I mean, this one is not that much different, but because of the chain design is a little different. Sometimes the beads are closer together, so FYI, but I'm going to use two beads, and I'm going to cut right here at the end of this bead. You guys, I love Chain Reaction. There's just so much you can do with it. I'm going to cut that off. And like I said, if you're cringing at this, just look away. Don't look. <laughs> now you could use a split ring if you want to. I'm going to take it off. So now we have this, okay? I want to put on there, it's moving back to this, okay? What are we gonna put on there? We got a little tassel, we've got one of these little, see these are cute, but they have silver. Not that that matters, but everything I have on here is gold. We could do this other flower, or we could do one of these little tiny guys. It's up to you. I kind of, I kind of like that. <laughs> I do. I like it. And then we could put the other one like on the top somewhere. That's cute. We could, could we do both? It's like Randy just loves to do everything. I'm going to try both. Okay. So we are going to need a jump ring, a gold jump ring. Do, do. Okay, do I have a little tiny one? No, but I have an average size one, which is fine. Okay, so I'm gonna get this jump ring going. The fun part about these uh, pendants is like once you, you know, like this one I'm making on purpose, but I have a big box of like, kind of like bead soup stuff, and um, I'm, I'm going to try to do this. I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, yeah, it is. Look how cute. I have a big box of like, um, you know, a few leftover, like as an example, these are still sitting here from last week. Like, just a few little beads, and you're like, oh, what do I do with that? You'd make a tassel for your pendant ready, or just always have on hand something super sparkly, which is great. Okay, I'm going to close this up. So, it's a great bead soup project. I'm going to get another one. Another jump ring. There is no nothing on these jump rings you just use whatever you want do i need a jump ring here maybe i will put this one on the chain mm, i don't know how i feel about that i'm not going to put that on quite yet because i'm not sure how i feel so all right he's gonna go over here Alrighty, let's jump into construction. 
Construction, construction. Okay, so now that we have all our little parts and pieces, and you could do these any way you wanted, you could have more chain, you could have more beaded beads, whatever. You could have more of that flower chain, which is great, by the way. I'm just going to move these to the side for now. And what we're going to do here, we're going to give this a haircut once we get it wrapped. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take that foot of gold uh, 24 gauge wire. Now, I'm using 24 because I plan to do a lot of wrapping. Uh, you could use 22. Um, I wouldn't, I don't know that I would use anything bigger than a 22, but you, you could use that if you'd like. Um, but I'm going to do a lot of wrapping here. And I just went over everything. And I'm just going to get to wrapping. This is like going to be messy. Okay. Make sure this part is in the back. All right. Okay. Now we're going to start putting on our charms. And I'm going to kind of put them on in layers. So the first one I'm going to put on is this long guy with the chain reaction. And so I'm just going to slide him down here. And I want to make sure that he's kind of on the side there. And I'm going to go around. And I'm actually going to bring this wire back through that little loop there. Just for security purposes. And I'm going to do that. Okay, so I got him on. I'm going to go around one more time. And I'm going to go underneath this guy. And then I'm going to add my next thing, which I think will be this beaded portion. So I'm just slipping him on the wire here. And I'm doing this because I kind of want it to be different layers, you see. So I go around and this time I'm going to go over the top of this chain reaction one. I'm going to bring my wire through this loop on the beaded portion, just like we did the first time. Hopefully not get anything tangled up. Kind of takes a little finessing, I guess. And then... I have this one, is this one longer? Yeah, this one's longer. Put him over here. Um, yeah, I guess that's fine. And I go around. And it's supposed to look messy up here at the top. So I don't even worry about that. And then the last one. Put him on there. And then him, I kind of want to be right in between there. In between these two. Did I put it on there backwards? I sure did. I watch out for that. So I'm going to take him out and I'm going to turn him around so that when he lays flat, the dragonfly is showing forward. And I'm just going to kind of press him down with my thumb as I wrap around. Go back through the loop there. 
and again basically just using up all of my wire here all right so once I got this little tail I'm gonna go to the back and so what we want to do here is we are going to tuck these. We're going to cut them. We're going to tuck them. We want one going this way, one going up. So this one going up and this one going down. So I'm going to take my cutter and give a little trim. I'm going to take my chain nose wire. And I am actually going to make like a little loop here just so he's not sharp should he get loose for some reason so I'm just making like a little loop-de-loo and then I'm going to take and push him up underneath this other wire same with the top it's actually easier for me if I flip the whole project because I am this hand is dominant so with this guy I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna make kind of like a little hook and spin and then I'm gonna push it in there okay so that's what she looks like on the back and I am just gonna take this and I'm just gonna give it I'm take my nylon hoover jobber here I'm just gonna give it a little smish and that's what we got in the front so I know right now it kind of looks like a little hot mess, but that's because we got a lot of extra going on and we're getting ready to get rid of that. All right. So here's what we got so far. And what I'm going to do is I am, you could do this any way you want. This is how I do it. I take the whole works and I'm going to make it kind of even with this longest one. I mean, it doesn't have to be even. You could do it tapered. You could do it shorter. You could do whatever you want because there's no rules here. <laughs> if anybody told you there were rules, it's a lie. Um, <laughs> and so that's what we end up with. Now, even if you wanted to, you could even go in on this little fabric and you could just give it a little cut just to give it a little extra if you want just give it a little you know a little something just make it a little more fringe down there whatever but for the most part this is what we end up with see now i wish that i would not have cut all those even except for this one because this one looks kind of long now but it is what it is. So there she is. I could make this shorter. Let me just take a link out. See, this is what happens. I'm going to take this link out. Because it's too much. I'm doing the most. And I'm just going to reattach it without this one link with a jump ring. Do, do, do. Let's see if this will fit in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. zoom in a little bit so you can get the full effect here hmm, that might be my bunch so I've got this one I've got the beaded I've got the little dragonfly and then this one little dragonfly so it's super cute now here's the dealio 
when connecting our hook now you could do I mean there's endless possibilities look at all these beads we have left we could do beaded with this actually I'm thinking I'm gonna do something else with this but you could add uh, you know you could add flowers here you could add a tassel you could add the, some little uh, beads up here and hang them all around if you want whatever you want but what I'm gonna do is I've got some real heavy jump rings here and I'm going to attach this gold thing. So when you attach it, you want it to be like this, okay? You want it to hang like this because when you go to put this on your necklace, you're going to attach it this way onto your necklace, okay? So sometimes that means you might have to find a creative way to get this guy on here because if I just take this, and just did like a regular jump ring like so it's not going to hang straight because once I close that up I just show you for the effect once I close it up it hangs this way and that is not what we want so you got to watch out for that but here's what we can do we can take a smaller jump ring Check me out, check me out. I gotta put my, my other little dragonfly on there. I'm gonna put him on here. Is that closed up all the way? I better double check. Okay, so now we have this little tiny dragonfly in the center of the circle. Now we're gonna take our big heavy duty jump ring. Now you're gonna take this guy and you're gonna put him on to that jump ring, you see? And now when you go to attach your lobster claw, these guys are heavy duty for real. Now he will hang appropriately, look at there. Right, guys so that is the project I will take some photos and I will leave those photos at the end here for you but that's how he looks and then you can attach this to your purse to your whatever I'm gonna flip you around so you can see me put it on my chain that I have on okay so here is our project isn't that cute? With all the sparkly bits. Dragonfly. So I got this guy wonked up. He's got to hang straight. There we go. So anyway, uh, that's what you got going on. I'll put some photos, some close-up photos so you can see more. But, uh, this is how you go. So you can just take any necklace that you have, or you could use one of these um, pendant readies, put that on, and then you just clip right in between the beads here. And there you go. You got yourself a cute little tassel. And if you put your clip on the right way, he hangs straight. And I wear these a lot uh, because it's cool to just be able to switch out the little charms and stuff. And, you know, I do a lot of layering. So, anyways, FYI on that. 
But uh, yeah, so that is what we are doing with our one little link from the big girl chain and some of the bits and pieces from the Swiss chard and the fairy silk. And we still have a number of beads left over that honestly I will probably do um, maybe just a beaded necklace or bracelet with. And that's how we'll be going. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I am going to put, again, down in the description box, all the information is down there for you. If you have questions, comments, or concerns, please reach out, leave a comment. I do answer the comments down there. I will be back next Thursday with another video. It's a little bit more intricate. A little bit more intricate. We are going to be using, in the next video, Adventure Awaits. And I have a plan. <laughs> um it's gonna be fun so i hope you guys will come back again please leave your girl a like a thumbs up subscribe to these videos let me know in the comment box what you thought of this project if you've tried these before and try to make you know try a couple different ones i make a couple different designs um of these and they're super fun and you can put them on your purse and your whatever so um, I'll leave my uh, Thunder Horses in it logo up here on the screen. So please subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.